In today's video, we are gonna install and review some Techno Toy Tuning door cards for the AE86. So let's get to it. And put them on the car. All right, so I have already opened the package. Um, they came very well packaged. The box said, fragile, do not bend, do not set anything on top of, because obviously you wouldn't want your door cards to end up not the right shape. But let's take a quick view at the door cards themselves before we go ahead and install them. This is the driver side. Has a cool little, you see that? Where it says T3. Techno Toy Tuning. Also, just in case you forget what kind of car you drive, AE86. Uh, holes to bolt it. That's for a strap that I also bought with it. Window crank, door lever. This, this angle to hook over into the door part. They have a very nice finish on them. It's like a wrinkle coated black. They're not the thickest ever. Oh yeah, look at all that. But they are very light and they don't really need to be thick because once you bolt it down, it's all sturdy. So these are the straps for the door pull, um, screws and uh, like a, a washer type thing to make them look nice. Big flat washers, bunch of little screws and um, I don't know the correct word for them, but they're to make it look nice. And then rectangles for the door handle. And it comes with a very, what so far seems like detailed instructions on how to install it. So let's go ahead and start putting it in. My door cards were missing when I got the car. So this made this a little easier. The only thing I had to take off was the window crank. And there are instructions on how to take that off and make sure you keep this C-clamp or the clip. The only other thing you do have to take off that you might not think of is the plastic for the rear view mirror. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. All right, something to pay attention to when you're putting the door card in. There are, get it from the other side. There are three metal tabs. You wanna make sure that your door card goes over them. So over into this. All right, that's exciting. So the next step is um, to put the self-tapper screws in. But as you can tell right now, it sits off of the bottom. So what you need to do is tape it, tape it down, so that when you go to put the self-tappers in, it doesn't go anywhere or do anything funky. Next, just take these self tappers and these finishing washers and put them into these holes. All right, there it goes. Okay. All right, now that all the screws are in, Take the tape off and reverse assemble uh, 
the door. So I'm gonna put the window crank back on and I'll show you how I put the nylon strap on. All right, so for installation of the nylon handle, you're gonna use the black washer under the hardware. I assume it gives it a better base, especially if you're pulling to close the door with that. But there's two options on how you can set up the door handle. You can take the door handle like this and either put it right here or right here. The other option is to make it more like a traditional handle and have the strap go across the two so that you can pull on it. For what I'm doing, I'm gonna put it like this, just like that. I can try like that for a little while and if I don't like it, just move it there. And if I don't like that, I can just put the strap across. So we'll try this. And then just put this other one in. Just to cover up that other hole. All right, so the door card is in. Overall, I think the door cards are very good. The fit was perfect. No problems there. Yeah, I would buy these again. I think I paid, I think they're 180. I bought them during Black Friday, so I might've got a better deal than that. But they're very good. The only thing that I could think, and it could be different just because I don't have that in there. Um, and even for the thickness of them, they're not bad. I guess you might get a little bit of rattle. We'll have to see, you just have to drive it some. Even if that were the case, you could always put some stuff behind there to make sure it doesn't have that metal on metal contact. All right, that's it. Um, got the door card installed. They look a lot better than no door cards. I've looked up the prices for uh, AE86 door cards before and they're expensive. Um, I have one and it's hard to find a matching one and they're expensive, like I said. So this is a very good alternative to that. I think they're $180, I could be wrong. Yeah, they look good, the finish is good. The finish on the hardware is super good. It has this like little bit of a satin, dark gray color to it. It just makes it seem a lot nicer than just like, they're not giving you regular plain hardware. It's a lot better. And it's super easy to install and looks good. So where could you go wrong? But that's it for this episode. I appreciate you guys uh, watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It does help out a lot. The next video will be installing Tecno Toy Tuning seat rails for the Corolla. Those should be fun too. Um, if you did like this video, please leave a like. And if you have any questions on anything about life or these door cards, please leave it in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.